Okay, I was uh, middle of bed on what to learn tonight. Because I, I don't want to repeat and give all the sure I gave earlier today. I like to keep it keep it uh, different. But we're gonna we're gonna discuss um Kitsu Kutimaran in Hafe. Hafe. So we're gonna jump in the middle of it. Um and we'll get to uh, I think we'll get some some nice nice uh, little Nikudot out of here. Vedash Bukho Ulamba Ulam uh Bukho Majaga Majaga is Sham Dimionot. Elo. Okay, we're talking about uh, earlier the Rabbin was talking about uh Dimionot. Uh Dimion in our heads. He the hem hem a clipot kod uh the pre. Okay, I'm to give a little background. Rabbi Nachman is a radical, as usual. Rabbi Nachman is a radical. And, uh, and he, um, you know, we throw these like uh, terms, uh, a lot in mysticism, Hasidic, Hasidus. And so he says, listen, it's very, it's very pushy with the uh, Klipotar. Klipot are, uh, are Dimirat. Ndame. Delusions. Delusions right. in your head. Right. Every, every Madrid, every Olam, every, what's an Olam, every, every level you're moving up in life, you have a different set of illusions. Dimirat, imaginations. And this basically prevents you from a Vodas Hashem. This could be anything. You, know, it's, uh, you think the world is this way, and really this is not this way. It really, all of a sudden, you're you know, you're you have an obstacle in terms of how, how you want to go about doing something in your life. Anything, anything that's troubling you or, or, or bothering you can be changed from day to day, but doesn't seem to align with your your uh, moving closer and closer. Baruch Hu, is a dimyon. Is a dimyon. But everybody has their own set of dimyonot. Because everybody, no one's on the same level, no one's, no one's like on the same page. But there's their own olam, their own world. So these dimyonot are here, and a lot of people fall in this, by the way. A lot of people fall in this this trap because they go, they they decide not to move forward. But these dimyonot are here as obstacles in our heads. Everything, everything we're is always in the head, right? The world that we have, the world that we are working through. It's really a projection of our of our own subconscious, our own conscious mind. Okay, for you, you and me, it's all the same world, right? Physically, but we're all like each one of us is hung up on the same and different issues. Because each one of us was sent here to uplift a piece of consciousness that was left over from the cosmic Adam uh, 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 Right, we're we're all part of this Adam. We're all fragments of his of his consciousness, strewn throughout history. Each was each one of us has a specific special task here while we're here, and no two tasks are the same. So therefore, no tr no two people will have the same level of klipot or types of klipot. Because by beating the klipot, by breaking through dimyonot, we actually that's the that's the task of uplifting that part of uh, that part of creation that was broken. And we understand the whole thing was about dimyon. That's because we understand Chava ate from the pre. Is a dimyon. It was totally dimyon. So, well, this makes sense. And Adam, Adam, really, Adam didn't know that that push bottle wouldn't figure it out. But she made me do it. So everything's a dimyon. Everything's a dimyon. And this me and the the charm says that the world is the world of darkness and we can't really see things clearly. It doesn't mean physically, it means in here. The world of Olam is always an idea of where my consciousness is at. Madrega is where where my consciousness is at. It's not a physical thing. I mean the same two people, so I mean two different people can have the same situation physically, but it's a different test for each of them. For one, one of them doesn't under you know gets confused. The other one just walks right through it, no problem. No problem. One is held back by the demyon, and the other one isn't. Another, another way to look at demyon is that they want someone wants to accomplish something. Kodesh Baruch Hu wrote to us, listen. 
I can't make this easy for him. Because there's no growth. There's no growth. So Shem, before the person can grow to the next level, has to beat, has to repair that part of him that came into this world broken on that particular Indian. That particular Indian, so he'll get Dimyonot. Whether it's Sean Bias or whether it's an Indian of Midot or whatever it is, and, and that is a test for him to to be. Now, this idea of Kadma, uh, uh, Klipot Kadma Tapri is not just a Rebbe Nachman idea, that's a Hasidic idea, and I believe it's even a Kabbalistic idea um, from the Arizal. Very, fam- very famously, the Bachman um, Tavakis are demonstrated egos of his mud. Right. Egos is 17, which is the same gematria of Tov. So in order to get to the Tov, which is the Pri, which is the fruit inside of the Egos, you have to break through the Klipot. You have to. It's the only way through. So the Pri is who you really are. Pri is the, is the consciousness that you want to have, that you know that's really who you are. But these Dimyono, these, these things that bother you still, these, these sort of um, hang-ups, whoever they are, and the theory knows their own. You're meant to let them go. That's a process. By letting go, and those, those, those hang-ups come from a, the trauma that was given to us when our soul had hit this world. Remember, our soul yearns to be back with the Creator. It yearns to have an expanded consciousness because it's very, 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 very painful for something of an infinite quality to be constricted in the Meitzarim, right? In the Meitzarim of this world. It's very, very painful. And so that creates a sense of trauma. But the, in that trauma is the ability for us to actually repair that part of our consciousness. Okay? That's a lot. That's a big akdama to us. Hem hem klipot hakdomot hakodmot suha the pre. The sovavot et kedusha. Like I said, it surrounds the pre. It surrounds the fruit, the egos, cracking the nut. Right? Every step of the way, every time that Adam wants to grow, no matter what, whatever path he's at, you know, everybody's in a different journey. Everybody's journey is different. Every journey that they're on, they have to grow. And every time they're trying to grow, there's more and more demyonot that stop them. That was demyonot part of who we are. They don't need to be, but they are. By being virtue of this world. The teke kisha ola na medrega, as I need orion ha klipot, shmedrega, sovim otom, besarf lachnia otam, vish baram, the taher ota, makom meha klipot. Every step of the way, new diminod are going to arise. Because we all have choices to make. So, which way is the right way? Every decision I have, whether that's in Limu Torah, whether that's Sham Bias, or whether that's Chinuch, is always a choice. But one choice is correct, and one choice isn't correct. One choice is filled with, I mean, a tia to one choice, a, a drive to do with the other choice, because I have Dimyonot. And I have to understand that clarity comes from when I actually can remove myself from these, these illusions, whatever illusions they are, whatever Chazra I have, junk in my brain I have, that I haven't let go of. Azai, we can bring our own Hadash of people to him at Havot, had Shehem, to Avot, the Dimonov, Makshavot, the Bibulim, Miniot, Mit Pashtim, Kenegdo. So he's now expanding the idea of Klipot. In the Kutimran on this piece, in the Kitzel, in the folks, he lists them all together. But now he's now Rav Nassim ordered this, right? So he's listing them all together. We were talking about before the idea that. Uh, can I talk or you're recording? You, you're, I'm recording, but you're, you know, you're, it's free speech unless you're, you know, unless, uh, I won't try to make a joke. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, we are talking before the idea that, that, uh, that Avodah Hashem, when we're serving the Kodesh Baruch Hu, every time I want to get closer to Hashem, I, um, it's very, very normal that, that I have a set of dimyonot. 
I mean, in this case, ta'avot, demionot, bilbulim, confusions, things are obstacles, so miniot. All these things are happening. These are, these are what the, we call, in Kabbalistic terms, Rabbi Nachman is very radical because most people don't, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, break it down as simple. They're called klipot. You've heard that before, right? So what is a klipa? Very simple. When I have an illusion, when I have an obstacle in my head, everything's in my head, right? When I have an obstacle there, when I, uh, you know, when I have um, a, a confusion. Confusion is obstacles and illusions. Those are the klipot. Brax text. They are a mystical concept. We'll have, they'll have how they're enclosed in our world there is in our head. There's no klipot. The, the klipot are in our head. Everything's in our head. And I was saying before that each person is trying to constantly grow. Trying to grow in life. They're 120 years here. And every time they try to grow, more and more of these things always happen. And then they break through them and they can move to another level. And then new ones happen. That's what's going on right now. And no two people are in the same situation. No two people in the same situation. Now these obviously these things affect our shalom bias, they affect our chinook, they affect our they affect our, <coughs> our, um, our, our work environment, they affect everything. Um <clears throat> they, they, they come at him every single time. It's very hard he can't put them aside to get to the next level. Put them aside to get the next level. Must put them aside. To get no, no, he's not. He's just saying exactly. He's just saying like, that's what the people feel. Not that you shouldn't. I was about to say people make a mistake. They see these things happen, and what do they do? What happens? They go, listen, I'm on the Whoa, I didn't have that happen before. I wasn't thinking that way before. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I shouldn't try to work hard on myself. And they pull back. Or like, uh, there's a uh, peach suits in their shaman bias. And they don't, oh, why'd that happen? They don't understand. And they go, oh, and they pull back from working on their shaman bias. Or their chino, they have a fight with their kids, don't listen to them this time. But he always listens to me, what's happening? All these things are all in our head. All these doubts, all these... No, he goes, don't, don't stop. Push through them. Because that's, that's the only way to actually grow. Um, and where do we see this in this week's Barsha? Gosh Baruch Hu doesn't want to send Am Yisrael Dach Plishtim because he's afraid in the Milchama that they turn back to Mitzrayim. Right? So, you know, the Torah is like, not, in a, in a, not really a history, but it's, you know, part of who, it's, we're, our Neshamot are part of the Torah, which means it's part of who we are, which means in a, in a, in a very prati thing, a very specific level, well, if, you know, there's times when Gosh Baruch Hu says, well, he's not ready yet. I don't want to send him down that path. Those klipot are too much. Those those obstacles are too much for him. He he might turn back to Mitzrayim. He might t- turn back to a constrictive consciousness, which is what Mitzrayim is. So instead, send him to Yamsu, where, for, where they're forced to scream out at me. I mean, I'm going to put him in a situation where it doesn't seem like there's a way through the obstacles. There's, there's or his billboom, his confusions, and he and he doesn't know what to do. And so then he's forced to scream out to Hashem in order to get through the Yamsu, his own Yamsu, to get through to the next level. Because the Mitzrayim, which are the Taivot, the Bilbulim, and the Confu- and all these things are running, they're running after him, always, every day. That's the whole thing. The mistake everybody makes, though, is that, and I think you know, this is what he's trying to say, is that, that people assume that these things are going on outside. Oh, it's that thing. It's that thing. It's, that, it's all here. Because it doesn't make it. You know, if everybody has different set of circum, a different. Um, a tikkunim rectification they are sent down here to do. That means that it doesn't really matter what's going on out there in that sense. But the obstacles here. That every single time he gets to another stage in his growth, all these things he thought he put down are back again. And that's the very scary thing. I just thought I handled that already. I handled that already. Because Rabbi Nachman is saying, listen, there's no solutions in life. There's no solutions. No end of uh, your growth. 
than the Jew grows. There's no solutions. The Western world says, here's a solution for you. He's not a snake oil salesman. He's going to stay straight up. Every time you try to grow, you're going to get hit. Don't be afraid. This is part of the growth. Part of the growth. And th- th- those who are not afraid, those who are not afraid, understand that they have to, Hashem's sending those things to them in order for them to turn on to Hashem. To, okay, I get it. I need your help to remove these things. Then those are the people that grow. Those are the people that grow. They're, they're the ones who get through Amshiv. The Da. Every time Ibn Ahmed says Da comes to the supernal realms. I don't know if I've said this before, but the way the way he the way that this is Kitzer, but still the same idea. The way Rabbeinu uh, worked, and you can really see this the more you learn about the, uh, you learn like uh, earlier Chassidut that are connected to the family of the Bashan Pope, like the Dagamachan Ephraim is very classy, he's his uncle, and uh, uh, you see Par- and Bashan Pope himself, you'll see kernels of the Torahs in there. So okay, Machidush of Rabbeinu, what's the big deal? If he's, he's just basing it, he's not just basing it. He knew those Torahs backwards and forwards. The difference between this and other stuff is he's doing he it on all those Torahs. Which means he's getting to a very high Madrega level off his family's, you know, Hasidus. And that's where the Da comes in. Whenever he gets to a very high level in the and he both do it, he's he's touching he's touching levels that, that it's very, very hard to get to. And he's drawing down an Aitsa, which other people haven't drawn down before. Okay? And then he then he builds a Torah around that. Or or dresses it in a Torah that's that that's a you do in you know in the altar of Hasidim. But that's what's going on. So there's the Kiddush inside this, but it just means that he's drawing it from a very high level, almost almost a nevoah. Okay. When um, when you strengthen, when you become strong and you break the miniot, the obstacles that surround a person surround, surrounds a person, the niknas of the the he goes to a higher level. He helps his friend out by working on himself. Perhaps the friend's struggling with something very similar. You may say, if it's all in your head, then your friend has to help you. I don't know if you've had these situations, someone comes to you for Eitzah. And you're working at the same time the other person is. But usually you're like further along. Mm-hmm. Well, that's interesting. That's how close Baruch clearly said it's not Hashkafa Prate that I should be the person to. I mean, like everybody's looking for like this, like the guru, but really there's no guru. Really, what they should be doing, uh, Rabbi Nachman's very clear on it that the Anash, right, all the people that follow him should just be hanging out with each other and talking through issues. Talking through issues. It's very radical. It's not a cult. Cult needs a person to follow, needs a person telling me what to do. There's no one telling anybody to do. It's not just like uh, group therapy, lahav deal, lahav deal. But that's the idea. Like every mom has like each other. Epstein's, Epstein's smiling, now because he knows the genus. But uh, but no, that's 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 what's going on. Listen, if you're working on yourself, and some yid comes to you and he goes, ah, "This is really man, really tough buying," so that's funny. I just dealt with that. She tried doing this. Oh, oh, that's really amazing. I've had a bunch of times that happen. I can't even count them anymore. A bunch of times. And it's like, boom. Like, like, unbelievable. He pushes his friend up. Right? He's talking about a situation where he, like, I enter, you know, Person A enters into a new Madrega, and the other person goes, hmm, boom. He now leaves the Madrega he was in. Because the two people are dealing with doing a particular situation. It's Dome, but he moves up higher. His friend. By him working on himself, he's pushing the other guy up. That's... Neither one can stay in the, be in the same Madrega. They can't, no one can be dealing on the same level. So... Situation like person A is working on themselves, they move, they, they break through, and the other person's like, wow, gets a kick out of that. And vice versa, right? It's like, that's just going. Ki kohan neshamot heim zo lemala mezo. All neshamot are lined up in, 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 you know, in one higher, the other higher. 
זה מבחינת הרמה, מה שאחד מרים מגביע את אברו. You know, that goes back to different, uh, let's finish up with this. Um, it begs a different question, right? Like, what's a neshama? Why? Because it's like, if you read that and you think it's Tinkerbell, and then the neshama kind of floating around, then, then, then that's not what's going on. These are levels of consciousnesses. Each person is a particular consciousness, and the consciousness is being more and more revealed as they work on each other, as they work on themselves. That's why, you know, no, you know, there's only a certain amount of consciousness that's, that can be expressed in a particular medrega. And so they're, yeah, so they're just pushing each other out as they work on each other. Before, you know, it's pushing, uh, you know, one out and one up. But these are consciousness. The more the, the, but it, it needs an extra higher person to come in and push everybody up to the next level. If you're talking about a bunch of people that can only come to X level. Correct. They can't go higher than that. Yeah. You know, that, that's the Sadiq's role. Sadik starts the the Sadik in many ways is Sadik MS his job is to bring Zikaron. I don't want to even go into that Torah, but but the his job is to bring a Zikaron to the arm. To his Tamidim. The score, the score from you know where you came from. And he because he achieved a level of Zikaron that no one can, no one can achieve. Or I shouldn't say that. That one has it's very hard for a person to achieve without his help. It doesn't mean that they, one can't achieve it without a self. It just means it's really particularly hard. Because once again, there's only one Madriga for each person. So he he reaches levels of Zikaron, of where he came from. There's the Shama, Ba, the whole thing. And his whole, he tries to bring everybody along, encouraging them to move along to his Madriga. That's his role. That's the Sadiq Amos' role. Not to be not to be like him as a, as a person, but to... <clears throat> to grow in their own paths by injecting zikaron into them, because we just we forget who we're supposed to be. And by forgetting, we open the world of dimyonot, which is uh, <laughs> and confusions. If I really, you know, I'm supposed, to, I, I really am a ramash kavalot and neshama, and I come to this world, and I forget that I'm a kavalot and neshama. I spent my whole life struggling with the fact that why, why, you know, what am I doing here? It's very painful. It's very, pa- it's very painful for a lot of people, which is why they like, act out the way they do. It's why, you know, there's many people in on this world that, unfortunately, act the way they do. And instead of uh, fighting them, you have Rahmana on them. Because if they're Rahmana, fighting what? Instead of fighting them, you have Rahmana on them. They have Rahim on them. Who's Rahim on them? People that are, you know, are acting right in Am Yisrael, they, they, they forgot who they're supposed to be. They forgot their neshamas or kavadah. I don't understand your point. These Some people guy, are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, therefore... They're only not doing, but they're only doing what they're not doing because they forgot who they really are. Okay, so... So, so you have to have rachmanas, you have to have rachm- yeah. Yeah, rachim on them. Yeah, but if they're dragging other people down, you can't have rachmanot on them. For sure you can't. You can't, you can't allow the whole um to be brought down just because some people don't know what they're doing. You have to stop them. First, you have to stop the pulling down of the of the mass of the um. And then you can talk to them and say, listen. Uh, and if they want to listen, they'll listen. If they don't want to listen, they won't listen. Well, that's for sure. There's, there's, you, can't, you can't force them to be different. But, but uh, I think uh, I think you have it all starts in understanding the situation they're in. I mean, the world's a very tough world. Not easy world. So you have to put yourselves in the, you can't have to put themselves in their shoes, but let's just say, you know, someone's in a shama, there's a gavalik in a shama, and then he comes down, and he goes, well, oh, yeah, this is a, well, you know, if thrown, into a, thrown into a garbage peep. You know, it's like, you, you okay. can't really expect in that, you know, you can't expect okay. that differently. Yeah, but, you know, at the same point, we have to look at Datan and Aviram, and we have to say, these people have to take responsibility for their own actions. At some point, Moshe just said, listen, buddies, you've had enough chances, I can't allow you to pull them down anymore, that's a goodbye. No, I, 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 I think there's, you know, I'm not going to make that decision. Let me just put that away. Fine, I'm just saying, to be, to I, my, be, my to be Rahman on, no, no, all, only, on all the people, on a, on a person who's pulling himself down, fine. Okay. Sure. But a person who's, who's in charge of the Am, Ish uh, Tzibur, uh, and he's pulling a whole bunch of people The only down. reason why anybody, the only reason why people are pulled along to, to people is they forgot who they're supposed to be. 
people in general forget forget and everybody has these situations in their own lives everybody even people all of us sitting at this table have moments where we forget I'm just I'm just suggesting I, I, I went through a side, a side point here I'm just suggesting that the um We have Rahmanas uh, and and, uh, and even ourselves, right? It's a very it's a very tough world. The world is a tough world, and it's uh, you know uh, it's filled with illusions and obstacles and confusions. Everybody, and uh, and by the way, we create them for ourselves. And so, little if we know these things exist, and this is what everybody's going through, and everybody's having these traumas and trying to figure things out. Some people have more than others. Some people have more complicated ones and you know, rocking as much as possible. Guys, the journey is long. The ghoul is not what we expect. That's for sure. Okay.